Thanks for watching this tutorial. We'll be looking at configuring our SAML single sign-on plugin together with Azure AD and manual provisioning. With manual provisioning, we mean you already have your users um, in your Atlassian application. So either, for example, via LDAP synchronization, um, by manually creating them or some other way. So you're not using the provisioning features of our SAML single sign-on plugin. Essentially, our plugin will only do the um, authentication of those users against Azure AD, and that's what we're going to configure in this tutorial. So first, we'll start off in our plugin, um, do a couple of things, then we move over to um, um, the Azure UI, where we create an enterprise app, um, which acts as a SAML endpoint so that we can authenticate, um, and then we'll return to our plugin configuration and uh, finish that off and test it as well. So let's jump into Jira. This is my Jira lab instance. Um, you see I'm already in user management. I've got two users here, um, the admin user and Christian Demo. And our aim is to log in Christian Demo um, via Azure AD. If you have our SAML app installed, you see the menu icon um, SAML single sign on. Let's go there. And when you get there to the first time, it will show you our startup wizard. And maybe at this point, let me say something. If you get stuck anywhere, um, these tutorials show you a typical setup, um, a common scenario. But if you get stuck anywhere or you're not sure about um, some kind of configuration or special case, then really contact us. In many places in the app, you have the uh, option to contact support to raise a, a Jira service desk ticket um, or to schedule a screen share with us where we can do the setup with you um, together. So really reach out to us. That's what we're here for to help you. Let's go to add new IDP. Um, to get started, um, we need to select our identity provider. Um, it's Azure AD, which means we have a lot of pre-configuration already done in the wizard for you. And you also find the link to the step-by-step -step, um, documentation down here. Choose next. Um, here we show you some important information that we need in um, Azure to configure the enterprise app. Uh, by default, it's all the same URLs, so unless you have changed something in the settings, um, you just need to copy one of them. Let's do that. And then let's um, move over to um, Azure AD. Now we are on portalazure.com. Uh, let's select enterprise applications and we need a new application which brings us to the gallery. Here we search for a solution. And you already see our SAML apps down here. Um, we'll take the entry for Jira. That's what we're configuring here at the moment. Um, the catalog app means uh, we've already done a lot of pre-configuration on um, the Azure side for that as well. And it's also one of the prerequisites for you to be able to use that with um, a free Azure subscription like the Office 361. The 365. Anything else that's not in the catalog, you would have to have premium licenses. So let's change the name here to something that I can find again. Sierra Demo uh, Jira. Choose a sensible name here because that's also the name that people or normal users will see if they go to their um, Azure dashboard. Let's say create. So it's creating the app now and will redirect us to the configuration of the app um, in a second once um, that's done. That can take two or three seconds. Once we get there, we actually go to properties and turn off um, um, user assignment. We're now in the app configuration. Let's go to properties. We'll turn off user assignment um, here. That means everyone can now um, um, see this app in his dashboard and uh, use this integration um, to authenticate against Jira. If that's not what you want, under users and groups, you can also assign certain users or groups to this application so that only those users and those groups uh, will see the application on their dashboard and can use that um, SAML integration. Turned it off and say save. And now we go to um, single sign on. Select SAML as the protocol. 
say yes here to um, save things in the first place. And now we need to um, change the um, entity ID and the reply URL to fit our instance. So let's go to edit on the basic SAML settings. We'll have to edit um, this URL and paste what we copied from our plugin. Um, same here. Then we can say save. And we are already um, done on this section. No, let's test later. Um, let me say one thing about user attributes and claims. Um, I'm just going to quickly go into edit here. Um, that's basically what's being sent in the summer response um, to our plugin. You can generally um, leave that on the default. Um, however, here the name ID is what's being sent as the um, uh, username to our plugin. So if you don't use the um, Azure UPN, if you use, for example, your um, Active, um, Active Directory username, um, then you can change this to um, user on-premise account name, for example, if that's synchronized into um, Azure AD. If you have more questions around that, then contact us, but just I think it's worth mentioning at this point as well. So let me go back. Now the next thing that we're going to do is copy the um, Federation Metadata URL. So I'm going to copy this here because then our plugin can import the metadata um, via this URL and you don't have to do much configuration on our plugin anymore. If you don't have a direct connectivity from your Jira instance to um, Azure AD um, uh, to, to load this URL, then you also have the option to download this as an XML file here and then upload it in our plugin. Um, um, via this file. The URL is better if you can make it because then we can automatically um, check that once a day if certificates um, changed for example. So let's go back to our plugin because we're finished on Azure here. Click next here and now it's asking us for that um, URL that we just copied of the metadata. Say import you see it was successfully imported, so we can go to next. This screen is asking us about um, user ID attribute and transformation. Um, if the usernames are the same on both sides, so what you get from Azure over to um, Jira, they have both the same usernames, you don't have to do anything on this screen. I'm just going to quickly show you if that's not the case, then you'll have a lot of options here to um, um, modify what's being sent from Azure before it's used in Jira. For example, drop the domain name, um, do other things. I'm not going to go into details here, but if you have any questions about that or if you have the case where your usernames are not the same on Azure um, as they are on Jira, um, then you know that's possible. Just reach out to us. Let's go to next. This screen is asking us about user updates or the provisioning features of our plugin to create and update users. Um, since this, this is the uh, manual provisioning tutorial, um, we don't need any of that. So let's say save and next. And now we're essentially finished, so we can test our settings. Let's start a test. This creates what we call an authentication tracker, and that's um, really a good troubleshooting tool because it keeps everything about an authentication together. Um, it gives us a URL here. I'm going to copy that and we will open that URL in, in, in an incognito window now or private browsing window where we're not authenticated. Um, it's then going to get us to um, Jira, redirect us to Azure AD, have us log in, um, and then we see if that login was successful or not and get on this screen here uh, a lot of details about it. So copy that URL, open an incognito window, paste the URL in there and we go to Jira, get redirected to Azure AD and now I can log in. Give me a second. So and now you see it got me back into um, Jira. It's the starter. Uh, it's the welcome wizard because I've never logged in with that user before, but we are successfully authenticated. So lo let's go back to um, our normal Jira um, admin session. You can now see um, 
um, we see a lot of a lot more information um, we see the status of success and if I scroll down here you can see I see a lot of information um, that this authentication tracker um, uh, collected um, to do troubleshooting yeah? if this failed and you don't know why it failed um, even in this window you have the possibility to say contact support and upload this tracker that we have here uh, straight into our Jira service desk so that one of us can um, hopefully identify um, your issue, issue relatively quickly and give you some advice on how to fix it. So this was a success, we can now say next. So this is the last screen before we say save and close. Um, essentially it's asking us here with enable SSO redirect uh, if we want to uh, redirect all users to the identity provider now. I'm going to say yes here. Um, if this is a production system, you may want to inform your users and do that in a, a maintenance window, then you can leave that off and go back into the configuration and activate it at a later stage. Um, I'm, I want to finish it off here, so enable SSO redirect, which now means all users get redirected automatically to the identity provider. So save and close. And we're done with this tutorial. Thanks for watching this and like I said, um, if this doesn't, um, doesn't reflect 100% of your scenario, then reach out to our support, schedule a free screen share with us. We're really there to help you and we want to make this successful for you. So um, look forward to hearing from you.